how do we know about christening and the wedding is actually through a bridal fair at Suntec City. So there's a talk going on. The sharing done by Chris was quite insightful in terms of the photo quality that is being shown. And also there's a story behind it and a concept of it as well, which intrigued us to signing with christening and the wedding. I think for the gown selection, the whole process was very smooth. So Michelle was very uh, professional in helping me to select certain dresses. So after trying a few dresses, she really knew what kind of style I like and then she recommended a couple more types for me to try on and uh, she was also very forthcoming in terms of telling me how should I be standing, how should I be wearing the dress so that I look good in my photos and that helped a lot with the gown selection to kind of shortlist what is suitable for me on the pre wet shoot day. As for the makeup, so on the pre wet shoot day, on top we got Amber to actually follow us around because it's going to be a full day of shoot. So uh, she was very professional, always there for me to kind of like wipe my sweat down make sure my hair is alright. She even also kind of a care affair to help to hold my veil and also telling him what to do when he was like having double chin and stuff like that. So I think on top of being a makeup artist, she was also very professional in helping with the entire photography experience. Uh, it's not just for her in terms of the makeup. She also did mine, which turned out to be pretty good. I mean, I got a Ling Jun Jie hairstyle, which is pretty nice as well. For photo shoot, we don't exactly have a specific team that we wanted to go for. We actually chose based on locations that we would like to take photo and we really thankful for Jet for making the entire process and the story with his concept behind it and I thought that it was really thoughtful of him and it was a good experience for the both of us as well. When we get married, we only get married once and we don't really know how to start selecting and then so maybe we go a bit of bridal studio then we go photography and like there were too many options for us to choose from so in terms of this collaboration it helps to like put everything together where they know each other's style very well what works, what do not work and how would the photographer want to take it and for the photographer, he will also know how the gowns are like and how he can make the gowns like flow and also make the photos look very real and genuine in the entire experience itself. I think first of all, we did not expect to have so many nice photos so like it made the whole process very difficult to choose. I think that was the hardest part for us when we looked through the photos then we were like, uh, we don't want to remove this Oh, but we also want that, then what should we do? <laughs> so we are very glad that it didn't turn out like we were awkward. We were very afraid because we don't really take photos very often like um, this kind of professional shots where we wear formal wear and in gowns. So we were afraid that it will look like we were posing. But it looked very natural and the laughters and all the shots were captured very naturally. I think don't be afraid that you don't have anything in mind but just enjoy the entire process and remember taking the tips that is given by them because I'm sure that they are more professional than you. I think come with an open mind. Maybe when you come here you want to try mermaid gowns only for example. But then you'll be surprised that actually in photos your A-line gowns will also look very good. So I think come with an open mind and just be receptive to the feedback that be it the gown selection, makeup artists, because they have seen so many brides before, they know what kind of phases and what kind of body shapes and what gowns actually suit them. And in terms of photography, don't be afraid to just express yourself, be natural and then the photos will turn out very well.